All right. What is this man's going to do? Well. Good question. He was just about to threaten uh, to kill people, right? So. And he just overcharged. So. Takes a 10 plus his usage of powers here. What? Oh. Mm -hmm. Just he gets a ten plus on unleash your powers. Nova things. Um. Yeah. That that sounds utterly bonkers. It's okay. I can do it too. <laughs> yeah. Basically, he I didn't gets know a, he was a cow. He gets a he gets a full success on his usage of powers here. However. There's one small uh, hitting me issue. He doesn't have unleash. He's an adult. Yeah. You... Oh man, he's gonna use it to uh... wield your yes, great... control your powers. I'm betting. No, wield your power. Mm-hmm. Neutralize an opponent or a threat, at least for now. Create something useful from your environment. He holds up his hand. Metal begins to twist around until it forms an exact duplicate of what you're holding in your hand, Coriolis. Clenches his hand around it. Wow. And then the next moment the one in your hand explodes take a powerful blow please uh, can i protect or what's that called uh eight uh, let's see that is uh oh. that is not a good thing to get a hit on i give ground the opposition gets an opportunity all right. Hello. Sorry. So. Hello. Hello. Whoops. Oh. I hear you. I, I was gonna defend, but it's over with. So. Yeah. And just in an instant, you guys just kind of see Coriolis just scream out, ah! And then the blast from the detonator itself just sends him flying into the wall, and it, you hear like a lot of bones just kind of crack and pop. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. So, Ogre is gonna move straight to where Coriolis is and uh, set up a shield to try and prevent the general's advance. So not let him get any closer or to chuck some ranged attack at them. Eclipse. Um, noticing the thing in his hand. <laughs> I'm gonna... Create a portal and try to reach, uh, take it from him. It's gonna be unleash your powers. I, I don't... Is it not directly engaged with that? You're using your... Because one of the things is take something from them. Or, no, no, no. You're technically reshaping your environment. Okay. With your powers here. So that'll be free. Take potential. As he moves. Moves his one arm back and away, grabs your arm that's coming through the portal. Uh-oh. And then we are now going to have a little bit of overwhelming a vulnerable foe. 
Oh no! Oh no! Gag me, I guess. As he pulls you through the portal, he does so with enough force that he's basically going to turn you into. He's just going to pull you through the portal and then try to slam your head against the wall, essentially, in one swift motion. Hit. Mm -hmm. Which means on a seven to... On a seven to nine, um... Choose two. Choose two. Meaning... However... Some bad things happen. Yes, bad. Serious collateral damage. And at this moment, I will let Eclipse. You get to do something that will cause him to take a powerful blow at this time. However, on a hit, because this still hit, you're out. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> oh, um. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to say that you're going to be completely out, but um, you are definitely exceedingly vulnerable at this point. Then I'm okay. going to spend one of my holds. Okay. To ignore all harm from one of their attacks. Excellent. All right. It's still... As he swings you, you're able to position yourself in a way where you're not going to... It's going to hurt, but you're going to be fine. However, you still go through the wall and back through it as he kind of do does like a baseball swing using your body. Mm hmm Okay. Go ahead, and I will roll, take a powerful blow here. Fail. Damn it. Hit. Hmm. That's a fail, right? I mean, that's like bad, that's, right? That's bad for him. That's yeah. two. Wait, that's two? Isn't that just one? No, uh, I'm taking two conditions. Okay, doesn't he already have a couple? It's been a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, but never mind. Okay, uh... Augury wants to go on the offensive now. She's she had a shield set up because she figured the general was gonna go straight for the dude he was already attacking, which happened to be Coriolis. Coriolis is just kind of coughing and yeah, still but disoriented majorly. Since that Probably isn't happening Since that isn't happening, Augury's gonna Um She's going to mark her doom track again to use a uh, bolstered again to use another adult move. She is going to wield her power. She's going to fling her shield and turn it into a kind of restraining net to catch the clown in. Do we still have our conditions too? No. Oh, oh. okay. okay. I'm not insecure anymore, never mind. <laughs> unless you Eclipse gain all unless, you, unless you gain them after the whole eclipse being in the hospital thing, which I don't think anybody did. No. Okay. Not this time. Yeah, so that should be that's not like a one, that's a three. I just had hopeless. It's still a mm -hmm. failure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So can Augury do the thing now? Yes. Now, because Augury is using, uh, she's using her powers, wielding them instead of, uh, instead of unleashing them, does that mean Andromalex bonus from Come On Lucky doesn't apply? Because it applies to a move, right? Yeah, it applies to a move, and this is not a move you normally have. Okay. Feels weird saying that. <laughs> but I think that is how it's designed. Okay, cool. I got a nine, which means uh, I get to pick an option. I get to take hold of something vulnerable to me. I get to create something useful for my environment. I get to neutralize an opponent or threat, at least for now. 
I'm gonna assume that take hold of something vulnerable to you isn't supposed to include people. No. Okay, in that case, I'd like to neutralize the general, at least for now, to entrap him in that net of crystalline gook. As the crystals begin to form around him, he sighs, somewhat disappointed. Fine, fine, fine. So what's next? Uh, what is next? Hungry. <laughs> Hungry uh. is not giving up. Coriolis. He's going to try and control himself, try and control his breathing. And he's going to try and charge up his flares. Right. Ooh, a miss. Yay! Mark no. the control. I take three, three conditions. So I'm going to take afraid, angry, and insecure. Very good. No. And <laughs> no. take two burn. It's kind of he tries to charge up himself and focus his energy, but the pain is alive. And this isn't like before. He feels like that there's like something probably really broken, like probably a, a few cracked ribs or something of that sort. There's a lot of pain, and <sighs> he wants to fight this dude, but. He doesn't know if he can with all the pain and whether or not he can do it in a manner that won't hurt anybody else. So, yeah. He's less afraid of him, more afraid of himself and insecure about how that goes. But he still wants to, like, get this dude. But he stands up and he, he gets into, like, a nice little combat stance. You're gonna have to do better than that if you're gonna take me down, bub. 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 Why are you, Wolverine? Eclipse? Yes. Oh, my thing. Okay, <laughs> what do I do? Um. Um. Die? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm... I... Take it up some of... As I, like... I've been thrown to the wall. I'm on the ground. I'm gonna, like, as I get up, pull some of the shadows and then extend it outward to out uh, of the crown. All right. And try to hit him. Okay, give me your freak. Come on. Oh! Full hit. Full hit. That's never happened. So, <laughs> we know how that goes. Ew. And I will take a, take a powerful blow once you tell me how this goes. Yeah, I just like... As I'm getting up, I'm pulling some of the shadowy, like, smoky essence in the channel and just send it upward at the clown. Try to knock some wind out of him. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's bad. No, that's good for you. Yes. Yeah, you, yeah. That's real good for us if he's rolling to take a powerful blow. Ooh. That's, this one's gonna be fun. 
What's the most fun one I could pick out of this list? Corey Use control of yourself. <laughs> Nova is going. Come on. Kill us. I Wait, no. Unless taking a powerful blow is different for adults. What just happened? Again? So, he's losing control of his powers. As he charges. He's not doing uh, this- He's not doing this deliberately. This charge is not deliberate. Oh. Oh no. Oop. He kind of- He shakes himself free. <laughs> you have no idea. What you've just done. <laughs> Reality Storm. First of all, props on the evil laugh. Oh, Reality no. Storm. Not oh. again. Oh. But this Reality Storm is not like the one before. Instead of these finely tuned tornado that encircled you, the rust and dust just crumbles everything around you. The building is gone. The cop cars uh, are gone. The receptionist Jesus. turns into dust. No! And then you're all of a sudden all caught in the middle of what is essentially a geyser of debris. Almost feels like you're falling as the very ground is eaten away as well. All right, mm -hmm. it's time to shine. Augury is Augury is gonna go punch the clown in the face, and she's also gonna sort of mutter like, "Well, I guess we're gonna find out." What about the bystanders and the cops nearby? Are they getting sucked in as well? Uh, or are they just dust away? Like they they're, just, they're, they're probably dead. Bruh, no! I was gonna overcharge well, and just kinda get them float. Well, Augury is gonna gonna do the thing. Can she do the thing? She wants to hit him in the face really hard. Do Not it. just for hitting him, but for catharsis. And Andromalek is here. Nice. Yay! Pick two! Yeah. Augury did a thing good. Get to pick two of these, okay. Resist or avoid their blows, take something from them, create an opportunity for your allies. We'll make it resist or avoid their blows and create an opportunity for your allies. The detonator. Excellent. Oh, I suppose I could, well, eh, yeah. As you land a blow, happens. he twists and attempts to land his own blow, but How do you resist or avoid it? Uh, Augury is moving out of the way. She's realized this guy is a heavy hitter. So while she has her shielding spells at the ready, she's not going to use them unless she absolutely has to to conserve her strength. So she's just going to use her superhuman speed to dodge. She'll maybe maybe she'll do one of those somersaults the way they do in Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Coriolis, you said you were going to overcharge? Well, I was if there was bystanders, but they're dead, so... Uh... I guess then he's just going to also follow it up with a reality storm of his own. And because adding more storm to a storm is always a good idea. Exactly. Yeah, fight storm with storm. And I mean, like, That's how no the same goes. There's no bystanders anymore, so I mean, like, nobody's going to get hurt. Because they're dead. Well <laughs> Unless they're not dead, but uh, we so don't know. after the punch, essentially, oh, I still have to make a roll. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Roll well. So technically, one burn to directly engage a threat using your powers. Freak instead. So technically, ang afraid would take away minus two because it affects the roll. So, minus two there. 
I still got a 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of min-maxing. <laughs> and essentially, after the punch, he's going to capitalize on the clown, general, whatever, it's, uh, momentum, and he's going to accelerate it while also keeping his grip onto him. And as, through, as he, like, goes through the first wall, he's going to grip him and just send a huge, essentially a bra uh, barrage of, like, dark energy to just sort of, like, coalesce around him and just oh, well, implode. Man. I'm not spending an extra one to avoid collateral damage, so take that as you will. <laughs> mm -hmm. And for directly engage a threat, I am resisting and avoiding their blows, and I guess I'm going to impress the opposition. Okay, impress. impress or impress or surprise, because I don't think he can be frightened. Entertain. As he kind of flies back. It seems like he gains a momentary bit of control and is able to calm the dust for a moment. You can see Halcyon City around. And he is going to make a very desperate action here. Oh? Mm. Full hearty action. As with that moment, as he brings his if hands If this is down. anything like Final Fantasy, then he's gonna explode. <laughs> Not quite. Oh? As his hands come down and the dust and ash settle for a moment, as you see Halcyon City, you also notice as his hand comes down, his finger hits the button on the remote. A cacophony of explosions is seen and heard as hundreds, if not thousands, of explosives go off in Halcyon City, each one with those telltale blue electric glows. What are you going to do now? You going to stay here and face me? Or are you going to save as many as you can as the city burns? <laughs> I have a question. Does uh, rewinding time count as shaping? It is beyond what you had done, how you had described your powers. Rewinding time. Damn it. Hmm, However. Let's see. What could happen? Somebody here has gravity, I, which affects space-time, but this yes. this is not going to be easy if you really want this. Hungry Eclipse, just go see if you can get another hero or anything. Just help as many as you can. I think I can hold him off for a little while. Wait, what? You cut yeah. out. Yeah, you cut out. Augury is not going to leave anyone alone. You're still stuttering. Yeah. Yeah. Caught every other. Augury is not gonna leave anyone alone. Is what I heard. That is what I said. Okay. okay. Go now. Augury is still going on the attack. She's not going to listen here. Uh, do you have the insecure condition? Because if so, I would feel like you were clearing it here. <laughs> <laughs> she does not, regrettably. But this is still the thing that Augury would be doing. Because quite frankly, the city's blowing up right now but anyway. Uh, it's already too late. Might as well make sure this jackass doesn't get away with it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
Yes, at the very least, if we take him out now, we can't cause more trouble. All right. So, I believe we're on Eclipse, though, right now. Yeah. Um, I turn to Essence. Wasn't oh, we had a turn order. Coriolis. You say, there are other heroes in the city. We're the only ones up against him right now. And... Oh my god, what am I gonna do? <laughs> um... I'm a strong hero. Um... <laughs> I, I just <laughs> take the his shadows underneath um, the clown guy and try to like similar to what I've done try to do before try to restrain oh wait no 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 gonna use my other hold okay to stun them so I'm gonna like use my shadows to restrain. So basically like stun, but not stun. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah, uh, essentially that's going to be the exact same thing that you've been trying to do. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be your version of stunning is the shadows whip up, lash around him and hold him steady. Yeah. It's at this point that if you have anything that uh, specifically says uh, over, like overwhelm a vulnerable foe or something like that, this is time to use it. Okay. Augury's going to mark her doom track and try to do that, seeing her chance. Mm -hmm. May I do the thing? You may. <laughs> yeah. Come on. On a seven Did to nine. Book? On a seven to nine on overwhelm, you have to choose two. Okay. Let's see. Seven to nine, choose two. Uh, I'll do the second. You hurt your foe more than you intended, and you take a powerful blow in turn. All right, so we will both roll. I guess I'll take the powerful blow. Both roll. One. I I don't think I can. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Both take. Eleven, eleven. I didn't have any both conditions taking. there. All right, so when you take a powerful blow, roll plus conditions marked on a ten plus. Choose one. Remove yourself from the situation. Flee, pass out, lose control of yourself or powers in a terrible way. Or choose two Augury's options. Augury's going to pass out this time. Okay, passing out. I feel it would be a cop out if I chose lose control of your powers a second time, so I will not do that. <laughs> The do recall, Augury also damaged this dude harder than she intended to. And quite frankly, she was already intending to hurt him quite a lot. I'm going to mark two conditions. Mm -hmm. And give ground here. So now it's just Coriolis, it seems. It's Coriolis up next. Yes. And... I guess he's just gonna do another reality storm. Coalescing uh, dark matter again around uh, the general. And essentially just, like, slamming him down with it. But also, again, uh, essentially, like, almost... Cooking? No. Be cooking? I guess it would be freezing. He's trying to, like, freeze him. Or at least cause severe, like, frost burn onto him. 
That's one hold. I'll roll... Disappear. Freak to directly engage a threat. Eight. And so... You only get one. I think... I'm going to take something from him. I'm going to take away his ability to focus immensely on his powers. Or I guess you could say focus and wield it control uh, in a controlled manner. And himself because of the freeze burn, frost burn, and all that stuff. Okay. But I still take a powerful blow. Give me that roll. Uh, uh, it's yeah. a nine. Uh. You. Uh. You can't. Wait. You can't take two conditions. Yeah, I can't. Uh. I guess yeah. give ground again. I'm not really sure. Because I don't know really what I would say to provoke. Eclipse. Uh, because Augury's on the ground unconscious. Oh wait, yeah. what? Uh, so yeah, I will maybe provoke Eclipse to try and take a very very risky situation or a very risky attack. It's Ang saying angry or Eclipse, no! Uh, a little bit of a uh, angry one, because he's trying to push past the pain right now. Uh, well, which condition are you inflicting on Eclipse? Because that's part of it. It's, I thought it was provoke a teammate or take advantage of your influence. Okay, fair so, enough. Okay. Go ahead and... Do the provoke. Yep. Do the provoke. Ooh. Ah. So if you do it, you add team to the pool. But if you don't do it, you get a condition. Okay. What is that action? To fool Hardy. Um. Do it to just attack him recklessly, or if you don't do it, you mark a condition. I didn't create an opportunity, so yeah, he he he's still like this is a very very risky attack that you can make. Yeah, um, sure. Yay, we get to you. Just shadows again. Hurl it, and just wait. That would be reckless, right? That would yeah, be reckless. Finish him off. Yeah. Up close and personal. Yeah. Uh, portal. Do like the punch through the portal. Okay. Give me. Th that's directly engaging a threat. Technically, you're punching him. <laughs> I suck at that. So. <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah. Oof. That's what I thought. <laughs> He twists as you swing. And you end up hitting your own shadows, disrupting them. And with his arms free, he claps his hands together quickly, spending a point of burn. Hey, but we got team. And this creature forms itself out of the rust and dust. It is humanoid in its shape, but made of these particles. 
and it rushes towards you, Coriolis. Aw, oh, man! Oh, also, did he take a powerful blow from my reality storm? Uh, wasn't that the... Yeah, what... That was, uh, Roll's condition, that was the full hit. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Mm. I apologize. I was not paying attention. Uh... Ah. Oh, no. Uh, Wait, I just forgot. There we go. I guess he's gonna try and do fisty cuffs, then. With these constructs. The one construct. It's only one. Oh. Which makes that ability a little bit more... boring. <laughs> Honestly. Alright. How about she? Oof. Yes. However, that's your isn't that your second point? Yes, it is. I'm going to bank it for a dramatically appropriate moment. We all know what's going to happen here. When we're at our, our lowest and our darkest. This thing slugs you hard. Ugh. Take a powerful blow, please. Oh, can I defend that? I haven't been defending. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Um, Savior. Oh, mother. Oh. Okay, you take the powerful blow instead. Yeah. Never give up, never surrender. I do that. Um, that's we'll see, Becca. Oh, are you just normally defending? Oh, oh, no, never mind. That's never give up, never surrender. The oh. ten. Okay, and that is good for never give up, never surrender. Yeah. Um. Seven. Okay, so choose one, and I don't mark our condition. Okay. Um. No, no, no. That, that's not how. Yours is fine. You, you act as if you basically Wait, your thing is reverse. So good, getting high is good for you because of yeah. never mm -hmm. give up, never surrender. Yeah, I choose one because um. No. Uh, oh wait, you have a different from construct. never give. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. From never give up. Yeah. Um, I'll. I get an opportunity. No. I keep my other attacker's attention, which would be the construct. Yes. Yeah. So I, as I defend, create like a barrier of sorts of shadow. He goes for me. As you hear a very annoyed voice, and the one person I wanted, conscious. You know what? This works. This works out. Everything can end here. I get what I want. Nobody else gets hurt. Wait. I am going to con uh, use my powers here. Wielding powers. Oh, man. Don't do it, please! My seven. On a seven, I choose one. So Take true. a hold of something vulnerable to him. A pillar of rust and dust appears underneath Augury. Tossing her up into the air, and he catches her on his shoulder. Oh! I guess I'll be seeing you all later. And he is going to attempt to flee. Oh, no, he's not. I'm going to try and unleash my power to just keep him down. Go ahead. Oh, 
Oh, seven. Uh. Uh. What does that do? We'll say temporary. I also kind of want to take a condition here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Have it be dramatic, bro. Yeah. Maybe both. Yeah, why not? This yeah. All right. I take hopeless and the effect is temporary. Eclipse, you need to do something. I, I can't keep them there for long. Okay. Okay. Um. Is he like holding Augury? Is is she in the air? Yeah, Paramount's carry. Using like the shadow of his hand. <laughs> I'm gonna try to encase her in the portal and try to send her somewhere far and familiar to me, which would be my grandma's place. Gonna have to give me a roll for that. Unleashing your oh. powers. <sighs> okay, straight roll. Fail so I can use my moment of truth. Fail so roll. I can use my moment of truth. No. <laughs> I'll use it now. She's gone. I want it to be dramatic. There. <laughs> nice. Marking a condition or... Am I telling you how it's unstable or temporary? Um... I'm gonna... You know what? Actually, no. Uh -huh. I'm oh. I'm gonna... No. I'm gonna make it unstable. Okay. The way it's unstable... Is this portal you open up... Doesn't open up gracefully. It rips a hole in reality. Oof. And behind... It's a... As this portal rips open... The clown... The general... Snaps his fingers... And... What is that sound? What is that? Oh, sorry. Snaps his fingers, and as this portal rips open, it's no longer a portal to your grandmother's house, you see. It's a portal back to the other world. He looks startled as he kind of looks back and he goes, What? Why, thank you and begins to step backwards. Use it if you've got it. Unload the clip. All right. Nova Nova. He's down on his knees. It's just kind of weak, battered. It hurts all over and he, he's not even really so sure of himself as to whether or not he can do this. People are dead. What? The buildings are just falling around all around him in rust and dust. But... In an instant, or in a singular moment, Coriolis does have an idea. And... He tries to bring himself back up again, staring at the general and Augury, who is on his shoulders. He takes a deep breath and he tries to close it and he closes his eyes and reaches his hand out forward.
And to everybody else, it seems like momentum and motion, even to the general, slows to a halt. Probably just as he's about to enter through, like every the debris stops falling. Eclipse is probably uh, frozen in time. Essentially, everything is being frozen in time. And in a moment, he opens his eyes and they start to glimmer and glow his irises into a brighter shade of blue. And in an, uh, another instant, I like to say that word a lot, instant, both him and the general just dissipate in one. Augury kind of just floats there, frozen in time as well. <laughs> uh, in the same position of, you know, being slung over the shoulder, if there was a shoulder to be slung over. And we bring the comic book panel over to the general, who is... Really, he's floating in vacuum. There's stars and planets nearby. But there's no mention of like Earth or his planet or his dimension or anything else. It's just him in an empty vacuum. And he's not frozen anymore. So does he have like any sort of like reaction to this? Is in a vacuum? Uh, well, he does not have- He can still breathe. He can oh, still okay, breathe. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, is, it, is it a true vacuum? Because I mean, in a true vacuum, uh, he would start expanding outwards. We'll say that for comic book, you know, dramatic effect reasons, he's still fine. He can still speak. He can still regulate his body temperature. What is this? Batman can breathe in space. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? I know you're here. Uh, okay. Uh, and he can just kind of like hear a little bit of an echo from somewhere. He doesn't really know where this voice is coming from. He has, but it seems like and sounds like it it's coming from everywhere. You know, dimension wise, your world and my world follow very similar rules. Sure, you have your little rust dust bunny powers. You can manipulate atoms, I'm guessing to that minute detail. But really, that's all you can do. You can't do what I can do, however. So to answer your question, and then in an instant, he apparates right in front of him. I'm everywhere. And as soon as he blinks, he dissipates again and nowhere at the same time. All existing throughout the cosmos, throughout the space-time continuum, throughout the dimensions of time and space. And you are gonna be stuck here in, not in space, but between space between existence and imaginary, between the realms of time and space, outside of time and space, for a very, very long time. <laughs> well, and then he apparates again next to him and shrugs as he kind of just leans over, assuming, of course, that time has any meaning as to anymore and to where you're going. He smiles. And they both dissipate once again. The comic, the comic book panel does not follow up to where the general is. For all purposes of no, he's kind of just been like erased from existence, essentially. <laughs> 
And he comes back to our reality. Or, well, uh, Coriolis does. And all in a moment, time resumes again. I'm assuming, I'm sorry, Augury, but you just kind of like face plant down onto the ground as time resumes and eclipse. It's almost as if like me and the general just like vanish in an instant. Your portal is still up. You don't know if you went through. You don't know if where I went, anything. And then one by one, you see debris start to kind of like finagle back up to where they were. And I'm assuming like in a dramatic moment, there's probably like a clock nearby and you can just kind of see the hand <laughs> just like go back. The cars are going back. <clears throat> the constructs are back. The people are coming back as well from dust and matter to full-blooded human beings. The storm is dissipating and crawling away. And time-wise, you feel like everything was put back to the way it was not just 30 minutes ago before the fight even started. Does that mean we're not badly injured anymore? Yes. I'll include that too. Yay. Your wounds heal Which as well. Which presumably means... So Augury's conscious. I Let's help you up, Augury. If you want to be up. Uh, Augury is still on the ground. Because even though... Though her body might be fine, the exhaustion is still not quite there, the mental exhaustion. With that, but Coriolis is nowhere still to be seen. With that, where did he go? Augury and Eclipse, you hear the rustling of a newspaper. Well, that was fascinating. You... So we remember what happened. You remember... What? They remember what happens, correct, Coriolis? Yes, they still remember. And unfortunately, I imagine the people who died remember what happened. <laughs> Where you look, you remember the general sat there. This time, a individual with a much grander set of clothing sits in the chair, puts down the newspaper, which you can tell is clearly not written in English. That was absolutely, utterly fascinating. I can only begin to speculate where your friend is now and where my general is. What now, just happened? I think that was Coriola. Your friend has some impressive abilities. Now, don't you worry. My interests are different than my general's. But you don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to torture you. Or However... You have done me a favor. You see that... We moron, have. That moron was my general. So, while most people, he kind of stands up, would be very irritated that you got rid of their military commander, I'm somewhat thankful he was a nuisance, even by my standards. And with that, I'll offer you a boon. I can't tell you. I can't bring your friend here. I can tell you how you might be able to bring them back, or help them bring themselves back, depending on what the case may be. Or, 
And he generates a book in one hand. I can shed some light on some. Or. He's the author. And in the other hand, black smoke begins to form. I can give you access to things that your family could only ever dream of. But I can only provide you with one. I'm only so generous. And with that, we're going to call the session here. We want to thank you for joining us for Spaghetti Wednesdays. This is the grand finale, leaving it on a major cliffhanger. If you like what you saw and you want this cliffhanger to be resolved, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to help out the channel even further, follow us on Patreon. That really helps us out. And the next time you see us, there will be a somewhat change in scenery. Until then, Spaghetti Wednesdays, where we see what we'll see if Deadlands. It's been an honor. <laughs>